The day goes delight and a huge menu to choose from. Among the many delegates attending the festival is Australian filmmaker and producer Nadia Tass. Nadia Tass emigrated to Australia from northern Greece and directed her first film in 1986. Today, Nadia Tass is respected as among the very best. Her latest film, Amy, a story of deaf and mute girl and her relationship with her mother and a young dropout musician, forms the essence of a film which has won high critical acclaim. In our segment on record, Nadia Tass speaks to us, among other things, about this film, which is being in the festival. about a mother who tries to find a method through which she can help her little girl find her voice again. For four years, Amy, the little eight-year-old girl, has not been communicating through speech. And then during the course of the film, we find out why she stopped talking four years ago. And there is a neighbor uh, who connects with Amy and through his music, he's able to help her find her voice again. The film took me 11 years to make. Um, and whilst I was waiting to find the money to make Amy, I was making other films. And I had many offers to make Amy, but to compromise it, to make it with different cast, international stars from Hollywood and then the money was all there but I didn't want to do that I wanted to make the film that I saw in my head so for 11 years I waited until I could actually achieve the vision that I had in my head it's also about grief something that all over the world people have to deal with at different times of their lives and how grief can be such an insidious condition that people have to live by. The main actress is Rachel Griffiths, uh, the girl who was in Hillary and Jackie, who was, who was nominated for an Academy Award. And uh, she plays the mother in Amy. And the little girl who plays Amy is eight years of age. She was eight when I was shooting it. And... Uh, she sings beautifully and she'd never sung or acted before. I found her in a primary school. Just, I, I searched for, for someone to play Amy in Los Angeles, in England, uh, in New Zealand, all over Australia. And finally, I, I found her in Sydney, in virtually my own backyard. Amy has won 13 International Best Film Awards so far and uh, it's opening wide across uh, France in March, it's opening in America in March as well um, and many other countries and so I'm looking forward to entertaining the world with this film. The last time I was here I witnessed uh, thousands of people in an open-air cinema watching Malcolm, my very first film. And I'll never forget that experience where the humanity of the character connected with the humanity of the people who were watching it. So it's, you know, I want, to me that's richness, that's not poor. And so I, as far as I know, I've come back to a very rich culture.